All right, and we are back for round number three, and again, we won the die roll, so we'll play first. And hey, this is a hand that has multiple colors of mana. I, I Three colors, to be exact. Uh, old Sandy, Sand Sub Citadel. So uh, we'll go ahead and keep this hand, uh, because we have a Thought Season to a couple of removal spells, uh, and Absent Charm can draw us more cards too, so um, this is definitely a keep. And I'm going to leave the Sand Sub Citadel as well. We don't know what uh, our opponent is playing yet, so there's no reason to thought seize an unknown opponent uh, or, or to play to scry because we don't know what we're looking for. So now that we've seen a Temple of Silence, that kind of changes things. We know our opponent's probably playing uh, another some sort of Abzan deck if I had to wager a guess. So it definitely makes <clears throat> things a lot easier for us in that regard. We draw one swept teeth, and now I'm going to fire off this thought seize. I'm doing it before I play the land because I already know I have two removal spells. Ooh. Wow. That's a spicy hand. That is a real spicy hand. So, Thunderbreak Regent. Thunderbreak Regent. Nomad. It's just a three pair. Nomad Outpost. Nomad Outpost, Goblin Rabble Master, and a Bloodstained Mire. So I'm going to take a Rabble here because we only have one removal spell that kills a Rabble Master. Uh, so yeah, it's just a, a much scarier card for us. Uh, we could very easily lose to a Rabble. And I'm going to go ahead and Scry then and hopefully find like a Courser or something. But we'll put a Force on the bottom. Like Courser or Crufix would probably be like the best possible draw here for us. Elspeth. Elspeth's a pretty sweet one. So here, let's play one swept teeth. And see, our opponent here is probably just going to jam a rabble master, which will downfall. So there's a bloodstained mire. Uh, so we, we've seen a bloodstained mire and a nomad outpost being played so far, and this is probably a rabble master. So Goblin Rabble Master, and so the reason I did it this way is uh, so fetching a plane so we don't take, so next turn we can play Temple of Malady and not take damage from Land of War Waste if we Abzan Charm his Thunderbreak Regent. So that was the reason we would play a Windswept Heath there over the Land of War Wastes. All right, and our opponent did play the Rabble Master. So we know five cards in hand. We know there's two Thunderbreak Regents and a Nomad Outpost. We do not know the other card. Another Elspeth, okay. Uh, let's see what we have on top of Bile Blight. You know, I'm going to bottom the Bile Blight because we've already dealt with the Rabbles, and at this point we're just facing down Thunderbreak Regents, so I don't really want to draw Bile Blight. In fact, that's what's being played. And let's go ahead and exile it. So black, green, white, taking three in the process. And now we're relying on Elspeth's Sun's Champion to take care of these dragons and win the game for us. Uh, once, if we can get there, which Courser is probably a really good draw here to help us get to Elspeth. Perfect. Wow, that is actually perfect. Uh, could not have asked for a better uh, draw plus top of our deck. An Urborg on top. Um, so if our opponent just plays another dragon, we can just play Elspeth and kill it. That's pretty awesome. So there's the other Nomad Outpost. This is probably the other Thunderbreak Regents. Yep. Alright, so our opponent has played all the cards that we knew about. <coughs> Thankfully, <clears throat> we have a very special guest in... Um, I don't want to give our opponent... Well, our opponent has a lot of black sources already. So I guess we'll keep the, uh, the other one a, a surprise. Our Lady Elspeth will uh, come down to take care of Thunderbreak Regents. Uh, and I can attack here, but I don't want to lose to a Rabble, so I'm actually just going to sit back on D. We'll see. It. That could get easily get punished for that, but it is what it is. Something like Crackling Doom would be pretty good for our opponent here. Kill our Courser and our Elspeth. I feel like that's what this is. Nope. Five Storm Breath, okay. 
And it's probably lights out for Elspeth Sun's champion. Yep. She is dead. Alright, draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awkward. Alright, well, we'll play the land on top. And scry thoughts east to the bottom. Another land. Uh, same thing again, I'm just going to keep Courser back. And this is really awkward if our opponent has another Thunder uh, Storm Breath Dragon here. It's unfortunate, like, we could have played the Land of War Waste and the Thoughtseize, uh, but then we were stuck into drawing a Temple of Silence the next turn, so, I don't know. We threw away a little bit of value, probably. Or we gained a little, we threw away maybe our Elspeth for a little bit of value. Alright, so there's a Crackling Doom to uh, crush our dreams. And Seeker. And I wish our opponent would draw some lands, just flood out a little bit, <laughs> not get stuck on five. Alright, well, we'll take whatever good cards left in here. Oh, Seeker. Our opponent has a duress. Alright, now we're in a top deck war, which is bad, and they do, do draw a land. Probably just going to duress us here. Yeah, okay. So, oh, uh, we're just really needing to draw some good cards. Seemed like we were really far ahead, but things didn't really play out too well for us. We can still draw, there's still a lot of good draws left in our deck. Fleece Mane is actually one of them. And I'm just going to monstrous that right now. So if our opponent doesn't draw something super powerful, Fleece Mane will probably... Crackling Doom? Don't be a Crackling Doom. Huh. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> not, not, our, uh, not our game. Jeez. Alright. Why not? Why not? <laughs> uh... Alright, something good here. Okay. Respectable. Of course, there's a pretty good draw. Lion on top. I think we just keep the lion. At least for now, there's no reason to uh, change anything here. Alright, our opponent doesn't do anything. That's awesome. No crackling doom. And no attack. Sweet. Alright, we're starting to crawl back. Play caves off the top. Play a fleece main lion. And let's just go ahead and try to monstrous here. And yeah, I still don't want to attack. Although, I think I just want to fetch now so we get to gain this life for sure. Oh, tilt. Temple of Melody. Alright, don't dragon us. No! Don't play a dragon. We are dead to a dragon. A Stormbreath Dragon, that is. Soulfire Grandmaster, okay. It's not the worst. Um, it's not great for us, though. We're, it puts us down to being in trouble to a lot of different spells. But Hero's Downfall is good. 
So the question here is, do I even play this temple? Or do I save it for, you know, if something's bad on top of our deck? Or do I just want to gain this one life? For sure. Uh, I think I'm just going to save this temple. And, and try that out. Brick. All right, sweet, sweet. All right, we're doing it. Fleece me and lion. <coughs> so I think that well, let's go ahead and kill Soulfire Grandmaster right now. I just don't want to risk anything with that, and then. I think that I actually just put, um, I think we put this on the bottom because we're looking to draw, no, not, 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 a, not that, but we're looking to draw like something like an Elspeth or a Den Protector or whatever, uh, and another Lion is good, but it doesn't help us against like dragons, so uh, if our opponent draws something like a Stormbreath Dragon, we're just dead if we, if we don't have, um, you know, like a removal spell or something. What is this? Rabble Master, sure. Okay. Alright, well. Okay with the Rabble Master. Right now, like, we're probably favored this game, but it's not like <laughs> some absurd amount. So let's go ahead and bottom a one swift teeth. All right, downfall. Good, good. We are uh, starting to find cards that are good. Okay. And our opponent is crying, and they are putting a card on the bottom. Perfect. We have we are, we are drawing a lot of lands, but it's not that bad. Okay, Rhino on top is good, <coughs> and we don't need to play this downfall or anything because we can uh, like we can, we can handle these ground creatures as is. And there's really no reason for us to blow a downfall uh, when our opponent has things like dragons in their deck. So <laughs> we don't want to lose the Storm Breath Dragon. All right, Rhino, cool, and a Caves, Freeland, and an Abzan Charm. Um, yeah, I think it's time, it's actually time to start attacking with Fleece Man Lion. to start like actually pressuring our opponent at some point. Thunderbreak Regent, Dragon, maybe. Storm Breath Dragon, okay. just going to kill this dragon. Because <coughs> that is the scariest possible card our opponent could ever have. So we definitely want to kill that. Alright, thought seize. All right. I think we just draw two lose two here. Even though like thought seize is just a completely blank draw. What do I want to 
attack. I kind of do want to attack. Uh, maybe it's just the rhino. I kind of feel like I should start getting aggressive. Yeah, let's send for eight here. It's a pretty it's a pretty aggressive attack, but uh I want to just put my I want to kill my opponent soon. So yeah, our opponent's just actually gonna block. I don't want to give them a chance to kill us, like Alright, well it looks like our opponent is flooding out. So that's sweet. Corsair crew fix. They rhino on top. And I like our chances at this point in time. There's a haven. Get back uh, Storm Breath Dragon. <coughs> I'm glad we started to get aggressive. If we didn't get aggressive, we probably would have lost this haven. So, um, in fact, we maybe are we're supposed to start getting aggressive even earlier in the game. Right now, the Stormbreath Dragon's like not enough. I mean, the, oh, Foul Tongue Invocation. Wow. Okay. That's actually pretty good. So, our opponent did have a spell the entire time. But they could have cast it every time in, in response to a Thought Seize, so. It is what it is. Here comes a dragon. Alright. And Den Protector on top. Sweet. Alright, well, we'll crash the team here. Our opponent can block Corsair if they want. Um, yeah. Take six and we'll play rhinoceros. I don't think our opponent has enough to play a second dragon and monstrous. Be eight. I don't think it would be enough damage anyway. So this ten protector should just be lethal with these dragons or with these rhinos. Like even if we get wrath here, we can play ten protector. <coughs> All right. Well, you can duress our thought seize. Seems uh, legit. And probably monstrous this dragon. Just for style points here. Opponent is dead. Alright, so I didn't think we were going to win that game, but we did, so that's pretty sweet. And we get to draw a Den Protector. Send on in our team. All right, so we we won a very prolonged game one against Mardu. Uh, Mardu Dragons. So how do we want to board here? I want the cut and the cruxes. Definitely. Uh, I think I I think we want the rocks against them. We want the bioblades too. I I don't want Dramoka's command. And I think again we we want to trim on Thoughtseize. Uh, since the games are going to go long. Elspeth seems phenomenal against them. Uh, Elspeth's just really good. <clears throat> Removal spells are great. Maybe Wingmate Rock's not that good against them, but because it, like it doesn't interact with Stormbreath that well. But I still think that we want Rock again. Silence the Believers would be phenomenal here, but <laughs> yeah, about that. So we don't have Silence. Maybe on the draw we don't want Wingmate Rock. And just want a full set of Thoughtseize. Hmm. 
No, we'll run it. When in doubt, just play the more powerful card, so we're going to have Wingman Rock. Alright, well, six lands, downfall's a kind of bad hand, so we'll mulligan. Uh, we'll keep this hand. This hand is, is pretty bad, too. We may actually have to just play a Den Protector as a 2-1 creature on turn 2. Oh, it stands up Citadel is drawn. Game. We are pretty much cold to Rabble Master here. Yes! Haha, <laughs> not a Rabble. Woo! That is... All right. Oh, I'll play a Corsair. We have another one on top. Cool beans. <coughs> I feel like this is the part of our show where dragons start to come down. Maybe Thunderbreak Regent with a Haven in play. It really feels like a dragon. It is a dragon. Sweet. Wild Blades. Well, oops. I think it's just Rhino time, to be honest. And we're just going to try to race these dragons. Not saying that we can race these dragons very well, but we're gonna give it a college try. Maybe this is Crackling Doom? Yeah. Alright. Another rhino on top, that's sweet. Huh. Kinda like morphing a den protector here and then just rebuying a rhino. But we could also just cut. Hmm. Alright, well, let's gain a life. I don't want to play this other Corsair, really. I don't think that's the line. Yeah, let's just cast this down and try to rebuy some rhinos and just kill our opponent with a bunch of rhinos. Hopefully this is not a dragon, Stormbreath dragon or something. Like Elspeth would be sweet. I would love our opponent to play Elspeth here. That would be great. We could like bioblight the tokens and self-inflicted wound. Oh, let's rebuy a rhino. And sack the gun protector. Alright, and we are still attacking. Opponent's still attacking. Woo! Land off the top. That is a delight. And. Let's cast a Siege Rhino. <laughs> We're just going to Rhino the crap out of our opponents. Just Rhino them out. We do have, this is a lethal amount of damage, these two and this Rhino in our hand, so it's a, it's a delight. What is this? Storm Breath? Oh no! Troil and dragons! Alright, well, that's uh, a cute, our cue to cut. 
and keep the rhino. Kind of like just jamming Corsair here, and hopefully we had a land or Rhino, rock, and just playing a down protector face down, uh, and go from there. We made rocks of delight. Our opponents drawn a lot of lands, which is fortunate for us. I think. Two rhinos. How many rhinos have we cast this game? Two. We could potentially cast four, though. Four rhinos in a dream. <coughs> Looks like Thunderbreak's going to be back. Back in action. It's cool with me. I don't care about Thunderbreak Regent. Sure. Swift Teeth, awesome. Alright, send on in with the boys. So, yeah, let's just uh, put two counters on this. I could put them on that, but yeah, I'd rather do this. again then whatever we still have like Abzan Charm and Wingmate Rock and stuff so just throw it out there there's probably a better way to play that turn but I don't know what it was maybe it was like flip done protector get cut cut the guy attack for five maybe even Abzan Charm to put him yeah that's probably what it was, it was like Flip Den Protector to get caught. Abzan Charm to plus two plus two. Cut. And then win. Ooh. That's a good one. That is a good one. Oh, play Sandstep Citadel. Bioblight the Soulfire Grandmaster. And attack for six. <coughs> All right. Well, uh, we were able to defeat uh, Mardu Dragons this round, uh, thanks to the uh, powerful. I don't even know. Thanks to just some sweet stuff, actually. Uh, but so far, this deck seems pretty cool. We are now three and zero, oh, and hopefully, you'll stick around for round number four, where we attempt to complete the cycle of winning all four die rolls and winning all four matches. Mm -hmm.